you guys, it's Picks here, and today I have a thrift pickup for you. Um, so me and my friend, we went to this thrift store today, this afternoon, and we caught some stuff. Uh, the total bill was $257.40, tax happened to be $17, but um, yeah, let's get into it. So my first sneaker I'll just uh, bring out is the Kyrie 2 Green Glows. This is a size 10 and a half. It's a pretty good shoe. Um, I'd say overall 9 out of 10 condition. These are almost brand new to be honest. Uh, the soles are really uh, clean. There's just, just some dirt in them. Uh, just overall it's all it's all pretty clean. Just the front, the toe box is kind of tore up a little bit, but that shouldn't decrease the value too much. I'm trying to get uh, 100 for these. I bought these for 50 from the thrift store. Alright, so just around the shoe real quick. This is what I was talking about in the toe box, if you can really see it. It's just torn up a little bit right there. And uh, I just kind of saw this. It's kind of cut a little bit, but it shouldn't be a problem. Um, but yeah, the sole's pretty clean. Just some dirt in it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it about this shoe. Next up, I have a KD6 Liger. Um, these are in pretty good condition. These are a size 7. I can't fit these. Neither can my friend, um, but yeah, um, we got this shoe for I think twenty-five dollars. We're trying to get ninety for these. There's really no, um, there's really no flaws on these other than just a, a little wear in the sole because this the material they make with these, the patent leather kind, is just like pretty much indestructible. I mean, you can't you can't do much to patent leather other than crease it, and we can fix that easily. But yeah, we're trying to get um, ninety, like I said. Alright, so this is just around the shoe. Um, like I said, it's just a little bit um, crease in. We can fix that. Um, dirty on the midsole. A um, little dirty on the patent leather. Um, air bubbles are all in good condition. The, so uh, the soles are pretty good. Just a little bit of wear. But uh, yeah, that's it for this shoe. So next up, we have KD6 Florals. Uh, we got these for 30 um, These are actually in alright condition. They're not that good. Um, just the midsole is kind of cracked a little bit. Um, the floor is really nice on these. A DS pair like this will go for 200 to 220. But um, since they're this beat, I think uh, we'd only be able to get uh, like 100. Alright, so I wanted to show you guys an up close of these, mainly because this midsole, the cracking in this midsole, is uh, not too good and that will decrease the value quite a bit. That's what leads it to um, 100, not even maybe. But um, this midsole, we're thinking about painting this midsole uh, white, doing a restoration video on these. We don't know. Um, it depends if they sell or not on eBay for 100 If we don't get 100 and we do paint the midsole, we'll try and get 120 to 140 because I do think that will increase the value quite a bit. Um, but yeah, other than that, the shoe is really good condition. Um, the bottoms, the soles are really good. They're pretty icy. The floral's in good shape. Um, the laces, everything. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, next up we have a Kyrie 2 Easter. Um, these did release recently, and uh, these are in really good condition. Actually, there's no flaws on this K uh, Kyrie. Um, everything's in pretty good condition, other than this um, toe box is kind of dirty a little, but everything else is pretty good. All right, so. Um, like I said, just up here on the top is just a little bit dirty, um, but that can be cleaned before we sell these. I didn't want to clean these before because that doesn't lead you guys the correct video that you guys are looking for because these wouldn't be clean right out of the, uh, the store unless someone fixed them up before they went in. But um, yeah, other than that, these are pretty good condition. We paid 50 for these and we're trying to get 100 for them since they don't have the box. If they did have the box, I believe I could get 120 at least. But uh, yeah, that's it for Kyrie's. Alright, up next for our last sneaker today, we got a Jordan 1 Retro. This isn't a, I mean, this isn't a Retro, it's just a Red Box, a Retro Box. Um, it was just laying on the counter and we were like, wait, can we get that box because we don't have a box for these. And she said that the guy already walked off with his Retros. I wish I could have been there to get those Retros. But uh, unfortunately we weren't. But this is the um, Jordan 1 Westbrooks from the playoffs last year. Um, these are in really good condition, actually. They don't even look like they've been worn more than um, maybe two times. Uh, just a little dirty. The sole is a little dirty, like uh, you'll see in the zoom up. 
But yeah, we bought these for 30 and we're trying to get maybe 87. Alright, so just to zoom up real quick at these, the midsole is pretty clean. Uh, actually, it's a little dirty. Uh, the leather up here, the suede I mean, is kind of dirty. But that can be fixed with um, some cleaner easily. Um, the bottoms are pretty, cl pretty clean. Um, there's no heel drag. The stars are all here. Pretty good condition overall. Alright guys, so that concludes this video of my thrift pickup. Um, thank you for watching this video. Uh, please comment, like, and subscribe for more videos like this. And I hope to see more thrift pickups in the future. I dropped two, two 57 today. And uh, yeah, thanks.